hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome back. In the last video, we talked about why it took so long for Gregor Mendel to get that recognition he deserved and why the actual data from his experiments wasn't accepted until quite a few decades later. While doing this video, I'll cover the next top point, which says distinguish between the terms allele and gene using examples. So what we have to do is we have to know the difference between allele and a gene, and we have, to use, we have to show that through examples as well. And what I want to start with, I want to actually start correcting one of my mistakes in the last video, or two videos back. And the mistake it was was a, just a slip of the tongue, but it was actually a good mistake to make because now I can correct myself. And what I said, I was talking about the F1 generation, and this was when we bred the two different pure breeds, we bred them in the F1 generation, and we had these monohybrids. We had these monohybrids. And I talked about phenotype and genotype. Phenotype was the appearance, and I said these had the appearance of green, so their phenotype was green. And I said their genotype, I said their genotype, and then what I said is they had one green gene and one yellow gene. So I said then uh, this is the green gene, this is the yellow gene. And that was where I made my mistake. We should not be using the word green gene and, and yellow gene, we should be using the word allele. When we describe that. And I quickly go over why as well, but it's an important difference. Because what the actual gene is, gene, which is just something that codes for a trait. So gene codes for a trait. So for example, there's a gene that's responsible for the color of the peas. That's a gene that's responsible for that one. And for example, this is the chromosomes. These chromosomes, we'll cover them in a lot more detail soon, so I won't go over them in big detail now. But these chromosomes are actually where our genes are. So for example, this part of the chromosome here, this part of the chromosome here, which is the identical one, and this part here, and this part here, all of these are the parts of the chromosome that code for color of the actual P. But they have, even though they all the same parts code for the color of the P, we still haven't determined what color they actually code for. So what the allele is, the allele is just a version of the gene. It's a different version of the gene. So all these same parts always code for the color, but this part would code specifically for green color. So it has the green allele, because it's dominant, the big, big G was the green, dominant green allele. So it had the green allele, which gave the green color. And same here, this part was a coding for the color, but it had the green allele, and that coded for the green color. This one had this, the recessive, both the different parts of this chromosome had genes, or versions of a gene, so the alleles, which coded for the yellow color. So the actual gene is just parts of a chromosome which are responsible for making certain features appear. So for example, this car, this codes for the color of the P, but the allele is actually just a slightly different version of that gene. So then I mean, that slightly different version means that they can have different types of, in this, in this case, P color, but it can also be hair color, whatever else. And what happens now is, if, for example, if we were to breed these, so if we have the, this P, breeding of this P, what always happens is meiosis, so meiosis, this is just a meiosis nutshell. But if we have our chromosomes, they split into halves, I mean, that was the rule of segregation, so the Mendel's law of segregation, that when we make an offspring, it only get half of the whole chromosome, so we get either of these parts. So if, for example, we were to get this part here, from, let's say this is the father, and then this part here, from the mother, now it wouldn't be, now it would have one, so the gene itself, was here. This is what it codes for the actual color. And this would give it the big G, the capital G, because it comes from the father. And this allele of the actual gene is the small g. And overall, this plant would have this genotype consists of a capital G, which is green color, and a small g, which is the yellow color. So that's this genotype, these two different alleles. And its actual color, so its phenotype, would be green because big G is, is dominant over small g. But that was just, again, quickly the idea of allele and gene. And the genotype 
determines what kind of alleles or what kind of versions of a gene it is. You wouldn't say you know, these are the two different types of genes. You would say these are the two different types of versions of the genes. And what, again, we have to give examples. So I'm going to give two examples. I'm going to give the examples of the human eye color and sort of the pea plant in terms of its height. So for example, if we had a two human beings, they both have their phenotype, so their appearance, they both have brown eyes. But their actual, so this part, so the gene, is a gene that codes for the eye color. That's what we're looking at, the gene that codes for eye color. Now, in this case, they both have brown eyes, that's their phenotype is brown eyes, but their genotype, so what kind of versions of a gene they have, they have a, both of them have a capital B, just means brown, dominant brown version, so that's the, the allele of the actual gene, and then a recessive blue as well. And this is the actual genotype, so we've got two different alleles, so two different versions of that gene. Now when they would crossbreed, what you would have is you would have B, actually a um, quick, sorry mistake, I didn't actually, I didn't use this one. I said that one was a two dominant, so that one had two alleles that were brown, and the other one had one brown and one blue allele. So if we were to cross those, we'd have one brown and one brown from here, so that's here brown, pure breed brown, same here, we would have pure breed brown, and then you would have brown, blue, and brown, blue. So the phenotypes here, these phenotypes were all, so they looked there, in terms of their looks, they were all brown, brown eyes, but there was one example where the genotype is a bit different. So the actual versions are that one has brown and brown allele and a blue allele. So two of the actual offspring. But the blue allele is hidden, so you can't see that. But it's still in the actual new combination of chromosomes and genes. So that was one example. The other example was the P plan. So for example, if the gene was responsible for height, so part of that chromosome that was responsible for height, is what we're talking about. So this is the actual height gene. And the alleles, would, one was tall and the other one was short. And again, if we do the same example, we have, we cross one pure breed with a monohybrid breed. And what we get is we have this T from here and this T from here making a pure breed. This T from here, this T from here making a pure breed. This T from here this T from here, and then from the other plant we have two small T's, and now we have two pure breeds that have that dominant double T, so they're tall in, in, in phenotype, and their genotype is they have two tall genes, whereas the other two have one capital T, which means they have a tall, geno, tall allele and a small allele, but this one still is phenotype, its appearance is still tall because capital T is dominant over small t. But it has a allele, a version of it in as well, that is recessive, that's hidden, that is actually short. But yeah, so distinguish between the terms allele and gene, using examples, allele and gene. Gene, which is generally what trait it codes for. But for example, you know, color of the eye, then we have you know, hair color or tallness of the plant, or height of the plant. And the actual genotype was that, you know, there's just not just one eye color, there's different eye colors, there's no blue, there's green, there is brown, etc., etc. So the actual allele is just a version, what kind of gene, what kind of version of that gene it is. Same with hair color, you know, there's, there's red, there's, no, I was gonna say blue, but there's not blue, uh, brown, and black, etc. So the actual gene would be just the hair color itself, and then the actual allele would be the version of it. So is it brown, is it black, is it, or is it, um, yeah, different colors. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.